वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आई उशोशी रॉय सेन गुप्ता is a faculty at the department of journalism and mass communication churanath college for women churanath college for women has been organizing this web lecture series for the last one month it's the fifth uh, uh, speech of the series today and uh, we are delighted that uh, uh, our speaker for the day is one of the uh, very senior faculty members chotobrato pal but before i introduce the speaker i would just uh, you know tell you certain do's and don'ts of the meeting so if you have any questions during the session please type it in your chat box the feedback link will be provided almost at the very end of the meeting please fill it up properly with all your essentials correctly written and your e certificates will have it endorsed Uh, immediately afterwards and now uh, i uh, i introduce our speaker for the day our presentation is on uh, contemporary sports journalism you know getting back to sports uh, in this pandemic has been a welcome relief for all of us with the ipl going on and even you know the football matches and the championships being held yes we did get a relief that yes sports are the very essential element is back into our life and to continue with that form and the tradition uh, as it grows globally uh, our our presentation today is on sports journalism uh, so now i introduce the speaker chotobrot uh, pal is a senior faculty member of the department of journalism and mass communication Churana College for Women. For almost seventy years, he is associated with this department. But besides academics, he 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 holds a special mention for his experience as a professional sports journalist for with an experience of over twenty five years. His areas of specializations are international communication and sports. Uh, he has also presented papers at a number of national and international conferences but we are very very happy we are very delighted to present uh, mr shotobrot pal uh, on on this very topic uh, so it is over to you shotobrot sir uh thank you ushashi uh thanks for all the introductions okay uh, uh now uh, may i request uh, autoshi bhattacharya to uh, share the screens for me this is better technical in our hands uh, so yeah atushi is presenting okay today uh, i shall talk about computer sports journalism uh, first i want to thank you all to be present here in this web lecture series organized by the department of journalism and mass communication shurunath college for women uh, i want to thank all my uh, colleagues of various colleges and universities members of the field of professional journalism and also welcome the aspirant and uh, upcoming sports journalist of the future okay uh atushi uh, could you please move on to the next slide okay let me first explain what the main areas are that i shall cover first a glimpse into the present scenario of sports journalism second how it is uh, reshaped during the ongoing pandemic situation and third how the world of sports journalism will look like after the pandemic is gone well the main aim uh, is to present before you a brief guideline to prepare for the harsh reality of the post covid era but the world will not look as the same <clears throat> we uh, knew a few months uh, earlier i mean Uh, the world i we know i knew a few months earlier because living in the world of seven months ago i may not uh, do much favor on one part the upcoming journalist will be able to prepare themselves better and on the other part faculty members will also be able to guide them to do so 
uh, as everything is changing very fast. Okay, Autoshi, please move on to the next slide. <clears throat> now, why only sports? Before moving on to the details uh, presentation, let me explain why I showed special interest on sports journalism in this web lecture. Uh, there are uh, three major reasons. Number one, people love sports. Uh, uh, we live uh, with the habit of flipping the uh, back page as soon as we get daily newspapers, uh, the back page which is fixed for sports. Now, uh, why people love sports? Uh, athletes reflect us and occasionally provide insight uh, into the human condition and their work is uh, judged by the response uh, to it as much as by its uh, quantitative character. Their work inspires, suggests, and provokes as well. But the science also says that sports speak uh, a different truth to <clears throat> each observer. Each of us puts ourselves into the story, incorporates the event and its ups and downs into our own narrative. Number two, a special inclination. Well, I have been engaged in professional sports journalism for more than 25 years, so I have a special inclination. And there is number three, to solve a paradox, which exists at the heart of it. Now, what is the paradox? <clears throat> On one hand, uh, it has been characterized, characterized as a form of soft uh, journalistic practice uh, without the rigor and uh, credibility of other forms of hard journalism. Uh, it was an uh, area of journalism that was viewed as an uncritical booster and promoter of uh, sports and its uh, culture rather than a sector that called a powerful in sports to account. And at the same time, and there lies the paradox, sports journalism was of one of the most commercially uh, important parts of the newspaper industry. Uh, simply put, while other journalists uh, and uh, academics often decried the uh, lax journalistic standards, it was sports journalism's ability to deliver readers, <clears throat> particularly young readers, that made it uh, such a crucial and uh, uh, integral part of the commercial success of many media houses. And, and that's the reason we can see an increase in the number of sports TV channels compared to other specialized field during the past few years. And according to Indian readership survey done last year in 2019, the readership of sports in India has increased by 4.4% uh, from uh, 407 million to a staggering 425 million, despite the evolve of online journalism. Now, Tashi, please move on to the next slide. Okay, here's the graphical representation. Uh, the most promising thing is that the newspapers considerably increased their sports pages during the past five years. According to survey, leading English dailies like Times of India provides 28.89% of space for sports on an average. Uh, Hindustan Times provides around 23.9% of space. Uh, vernacular dailies like ABP, uh, they provide three to four pages on an average out of uh, their 16 pages uh, for sports. And they, out of 16 pages, uh, they provide two to four pages for sports. That's nearly 25 to 23% of space. Uh, on, uh, in India, on an average, daily newspaper provides 19.57% space for sports news. So it's nearly 20%. So uh, this was promising. Now, going by the survey result, it may be considered that those who are specialized in sports journalism uh, can be assured that around 20 to 23% job market is reserved for them. For any kind of specialized field of journalism, it is the maximum. Now you may understand why I choose sports journalism. So uh, now I move directly into the subject itself. Okay, Atoshi, move on to the next slide. Okay, <clears throat> let me start with the word contemporary. 
contemporary socialism so let me start with the word contemporary it means belonging to or occurring in the present yes we need to discuss the present scenario of the sports journalism because the picture of the very changed sports world can be seen here it's prominent now my aim is to get you a look into the future now as you can imagine one of the worst affected industries during the coronavirus outbreak has been ironically the profession that should have reporting on it that's journalism so um, just look at some picture authorship please uh, move on to the next slide there is a picture so the real picture work is on but where is the stuff and the next picture in the next slide yes uh, here is another picture work is on again people are on the desk but the number now what do you see a life in the studios and uh, newsrooms now uh, is all about just uh, distant force um, bite and cutter here and there once lively sports publications are starving for jaw dropping stuff to whet the readers appetite for breaking news next slide please okay now what is there to break when news is sanitized masked and uh, often quarantined by a pandemic that has break the heart of mankind now, if content is the king in sports journalism the live action uh, is the king maker that sports journalists have often taken for granted so let me welcome you all to the new normal says sports journalism throughout the world uh, dances to the tune of novel coronavirus uh, the pandemic has reshaped the way sports journalists work across the world the pandemic has not only affected sports journalists work but also threatened the very future of most sports journalism job now here in the picture you can see uh, the indian chess team contesting in the chess olympiad that has held that was held last month and it was a cheer for us that india for the first time became champion in the chess olympiad jointly uh, with russia but uh, i think someone is presenting uh, yes ashokoda somebody is presenting uh, not now you can continue yeah 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 no the uh, screen i need to see the screen you know the screen is visible now no yeah 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 just let me see what she may i uh, see the screen the the screen is on i think it's on yeah i understand Uh, Atushi is presenting. Atushi is presenting now. Right, yes. right, right. Yes, yes. Uh, Atushi, please uh, move on to. I mean, think uh, we were in. Yes. The slide before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, uh, uh, this is the Chase Olympiad. Is I was talking about the Chase Olympiad. The for the first time won this uh, championship jointly with Russia. Uh, but uh, the problem is, how many of us celebrated this achievement? this is because uh, very few media covered it uh, due to the social distancing uh, this time olympiad was uh, played online and that may be the reason uh, there are some atmosphere there is uh, you know no atmosphere no direct uh, interaction with the players there is only one way to get the details it's only the online okay next slide okay let us look into uh, some of the major events that have been severely affected by the pandemic okay uh, you see the list there the olympic games uh, oh, i missed the wimbledon tennis championship okay olympic games or wimbledon tennis championship which is due to take place in this summer have both been suspended uh, here is the picture you see uh, a lantern is preserved in the tokyo olympic museum it is actually the olympic torch that was lit uh, last uh, march in greece 
it was due to ignite the Olympic flame, but now it, is, it has to be preserved for one year in the museum for Tokyo 2021. This is the first time this kind of thing happens. I think 10 Formula One races have been cancelled so far, and even the number of matches of UEFA Champions League is also cut off to half compared to the, its regular format. And uh, even the IPL T20 tournament is not being held in this world's place, India. Uh, instead, it is being played here uh, in United Arab Emirates. So the tournament fever is already gone, and uh, there remains a great deal of uncertainty over when normal sports events will return and if it returns whether the old essence can be preserved that's the question with no sports uh, the sports development has been hit hardest and it didn't appear as though competitions will return anytime soon okay uh, Otoshi, please move on to the next uh, slide Okay, in this background, sports journalism took a massive hit in India regardless of uh, print, digital, or television journalism. Uh, bracing up for a long haul, India's major English and uh, language newspapers and TV channels deftly introduced pay cards and uh, closed certain departments. The English majors like Times of India, The Hindu, Hindustan Times, informed journalists of uh, reduction in salary to the tune of 10 to 15 percent <clears throat> and in some cases even 25 to 30 percent as well. Uh, the picture is not very diff uh, different uh, uh, for the vernacular major dailies. The TV channels uh, they close their uh, digital desks randomly uh, without giving the staffers some time to look for jobs. Uh, the condition of smaller and medium scale newspapers was even pathetic. Uh, with the uh, newspaper circulation taking a massive hit due to lockdown, social distancing and other measures, most of them uh, stopped printing and uh, brought out only e-papers. Even uh, the major houses uh, who continued with the printing version opted for major changes. Uh, the back pages have been slimmed down and the online content is uh, threadbare. We all fear that despite the positive messages during the past few months, the authorities of various news houses wouldn't hesitate to cut stops in coming days. And as far as uh, freelancing is concerned, there isn't much freelance work nowadays and media houses are protecting their own staffs rather than looking after freelancers. Uh, the move to shut down mass gatherings under measures uh, to slow the spread of coronavirus meant match reporting work uh, came to a swift end. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. A pandemic has hit all sectors of specialized journalism, but the sports sector was hit the most. Uh, let me ask you a question. How many of you uh, tuned onto the sports channel during the pandemic situation? Now, I am talking about the past six and a half months. I'm sure it will be difficult to answer for anybody like you or me, as there had been no such live sporting events during this time. There was no point or turning on to the sports channel. Uh, do you want comparison? Okay, let it be explained. Next slide. Next slide, please, Atoshi. Atoshi, could you please move on to the next slide? It could be a network issue. Uh, there's a yeah, 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 yeah. That, that may be a network issue. Okay, Sir, I have it. informed her. She uh -huh. okay, okay, no problem.
sir her connection is lost she cannot connect yeah, yeah, yeah. or now okay. we put some other screens present yeah yes sir yes 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 yes, yes sir so yes. sir please move on to the next slide yes this is the slide okay uh, i was talking about the comparison oh let it be explained <clears throat> the news channel uh, uh, news channel didn't lose much of its viewers because of the obvious reasons uh, during the pandemic situation not the other entertainment channels as well broadcasters have fallen back to their library content since uh, 12 minutes and hour are still up for commercial time the retelecast of the old mega serials in this entertainment uh, channels also drew much viewership than anticipated examples are there like uh, ramayana mahabharata shaktiman dev bhai dev etc now sir please move on to the next slide uh, yes now what's the situation for sports well what appeared to have solved the problem for entertainment channels couldn't do good for sports for sports channels this solution uh, carries a duality while some memorable matches may be viewed by ardent fans again repeat telecasts rarely cater to a appointment viewing something like live sports uh, provide uh, look uh, look at this image this is the uh, magic moment of india winning the first ever world cup uh, cricket in 1983 but how many times you want to watch this uh, was the match so with almost no sporting actions during the past few months the sports viewership is uh, showing a major dip according to the broadcast audience uh, research council of india or in short bark okay next slide please we shall see the uh, dip in viewership now compared to uh, the january 2020 uh, 69% dip in viewership and 56% dip in the average time spent per viewer is observed this clearly showing that the absence of live sports means an absence of engagement we also observed the missed action of flipping through newspaper back pages, uh, listening to primetime radio sports bulletins, and tuning into television to watch sports news, etc. Now, forget uh, about sports channels. Sports news were also being viewed in the in that way during the past six months, or not viewed. And uh, there are dry days for a sports reporter. Uh, this uh, the access denied. That the current situation took away uh, some much needed access for the sports journalists to uh, players, coaches, and teams. The loss of that accessibility has been one of the bigger adjustments. You can't go into the locker rooms anymore. You can't interview anyone. Uh, no matter how many Zoom interviews you do, it's uh, never going to replace the access we are used to um, in the pre-COVID time. Okay, sir, move on to the next slide. Okay, uh, the sports journalists are having to try and be a little more creative and think outside the box in terms of content. Now, because it is uh, predicted that sports journalism would be slightly weaker when matches and tournaments do return, whatever, uh, however. Um, it has been observed uh, during the recently controlled UEFA Champions League final and US Open finals. Uh, newspapers are getting used to working with fewer pages and less sports content. Uh, if uh, you know that costs, that's cost effective for them, uh, it may carry on along those lines uh, for some times at least. Now, it's uh, different clearly now uh, that the journalists don't have the usual weekly rhythms to work around. But it has also been an opportunity to be creative, to try different things and look for stories of the beaten path. Uh, it's a tough time for a lot of people, yet football can still provide uh, escapism and it is the job of sports journalists to uh, make the audience remain uh, interesting and engaging even in the absence of actual matches. 
Okay, next slide, please. Uh, so now that nearly every sport uh, sports event has either cancelled or indefinitely postponed uh, its upcoming schedule, and sports journalists had to get creative, as I mentioned earlier. Without reporters traveling for games, um, they had more time to explore the idea of starting a podcast. Uh, they had more time to drive into stories they couldn't find time for uh, during a regular session. Mm, uh, regular session, you know, uh, special emphasis also given on the stories like uh, local perspectives on national issues, I mean, such as a uh, uh, first person account for an Olympic hopeful after the game's postponement, or a coach for City's IPL franchise embracing for the potential delay of the season. Uh, are also important. Second, enterprise uh, reporting, uh, storytelling, and commentary uh, from a retrospective on an unforgettable story to a feature on an athlete whose entire life has been shaped by adversity. The stories are rich and plentiful. And, uh, and another thing we observe the shift of field. A sports journalist is still a journalist, and uh, many have been showing. Um, they are reporting and storytelling skills in news, business, and community reporting. Now, they have uh, told and shared so many uh, good stories. Uh, they have also spared, uh, spread the uh, message uh, to take the stay at home measures seriously and have shifted to covering the news of the pandemic. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Okay, paradigm shift. Now, uh, while some of the old school uh, sports journalists have never totally embraced the technology side of modern journalism and would rather dictate into phone watching the game than be looking at a laptop, the reality is that contemporary sports journalism now often stretches beyond the confines of the game itself. The situation has exposed journalists to the benefit of digital platforms and the benefit of working smart, new tools for work, among others. So the pandemic means a paradigm shift for journalism as we look at digital migration for every sector of sports journalism. Uh, there are um, maybe more television channels and cell broadcasters like Facebook Live, YouTube, etc. Okay, next slide. Okay, affected or evolved. Now, post COVID, newspapers coming to a standstill is something we all fear. We don't want that. But if uh, in the worst case, if that happens, will journalism be affected or evolved? Well, print journalism has primarily become web journalism now. Technology has enabled the wall between various mediums to fall. But the only change is how one presents the story. The digital medium of the journalism and digital monetization are the two next big things for journalism post COVID. We subscribe to a newspaper hard copy, however, there is no monetization for an e-paper. And uh, that is what is really important right now. I mean, at least for now. Now, please, next slide. The new normal. Yes, the new normal of reporting from house is quite interesting. It clearly shows that uh, the content is speaking and the digital is the new workspace. A sports journalism in the digital space would reinvent itself. Initially, television would telecast matches and newspapers uh, would carry a detailed analysis later. But today, today we see uh, the web breaking stories even before television. Uh, things like Mozo or mobile journalism would expand and give a rise to every citizen journalist who ought to go um, had the news uh, took him or her. Monetization and uh, data analytics and the adaptation of various journalists uh, to the various media 
to exploit their advantages uh, would be the new normal. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, when things will become normal, the long-term impact of the current crisis on the sports industry is still very much unknown, but it will drastically change how we consume sports content in the future. Now, we are not going to have the very regular access that we are used to. Uh, that access, I hope, is only temporary uh, being taken away. Reporters are going to uh, need to be more thoughtful and aggressive and smart about using other ways to get information. Taking interviews via video calls, now uh, putting in uh, human related stories and adding different features of how sporting individuals are adapting in a shutdown have dominated print and TV headlines. This will continue for something that's uh, confirmed uh, in the picture. You can see Vijender Singh is practicing uh, during this lock time and is waiting for the sporting action uh, to return very soon. Now, when sports events are, uh, start happening again, the whole industry is going to take a giant leap forward in terms of technology. It, it's uh, for sure that sports will eventually come back. Uh, uh, no, but uh, whenever they do, some editors and publishers will have gotten used to a less sports-heavy mix of contents. Uh, one that uh, puts less emphasis on game stories that could have been longer uh, term impacts on strategy and coverage. Uh, this is because the audience now is getting used to these kind of stories. Okay, the next slide, please. Okay, uh, what is the silver lining? We need to wait to see how the next few months are taking shape uh, as it uh, relates to uh, sports media. Now, the silver lining is uh, Sports is going to play a central role in our recovery and getting back to normalcy. When live sporting events return, people will feel safer and better about things. Uh, many events will uh, begin without fans in uh, attendance, but slowly we'll get back to normal. Once people feel safe going to a cricket or football match, they'll feel safe resuming their normal lives. Okay, next slide, please. Well, this is for the newcomers. Now, uh, whether you are still considering your degree options or you are this year's class of 2020, uh, uh, it's uh, likely you will be wondering how to set yourself up for success in the new normal. <clears throat> there are a lot of unknowns about what the world will look like post coronavirus, but one thing is certain life won't return to how we once knew it. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing. As uh, novel job opportunities begin to emerge, what can you do to make sure you are a strong candidate when navigating the competitive job market? The economists uh, consider two thirds of all jobs by 2030 will be made up of soft skill intensive occupations. So. Uh, developing and enhancing uh, this, these things is the key. But understanding the trend and work at par is important. Okay, next slide. The year 2020 has been uh, surreal for almost everyone around the world for various reasons and sports is no exception. The coronavirus has uh, led to unprecedented uh, events this year, the kind of impact on the sporting world not seen since World War II. <clears throat> no one uh, in the sporting industry, be it the athlete and their families, coaches, support staffs, officials, broadcasters, journalists, agents, or those working in stadiums, uh, no one was ready for this. No one could have predicted uh, that an Olympic year, a uh, dual T20 World Cup year, uh, European Championship year would end up, uh, end up being uh, the year where sporting actions reaches a grinding halt. But in the midst of all this, a new trend has emerged. One that has kept athletes, fans, and even those covering the games engaged. Now, many sports persons around the world have stepped up their social media game, uh, reaching out uh, to their followers, 
not just about their personal routines, but turning interviews as well. Uh, and it makes one wonder if the coronavirus lockdown, uh, not just in India, but around the world, could permanently change the way sports person interact with fans. So uh, it will be a big challenge, you know, which brings us uh, to the question, is that the new normal? Uh, sure. Uh, the players who are interacting with each other could have been uh, the same marketing agency representing them or uh, common brands they endorse. Uh, the question will still be vetted to some extent with the level of comfort athletes have with each other more evident. Fans have been able to see a different facet of uh, their personal lives. Apart from a selection of senior journalists around the country, very few can guarantee that sort of comfort to a sports person that one of their peers can offer. Uh, so challenges will be harder. Here in the picture, you can see the famous jury of Indian women cricket team, Jemima Rodriguez and Sriti Mandana had been able to reflect the same passion and success in their online show, Double Trouble, uh, which features many sports persons in the sporting fraternity to come interact with fans. Here, um, it is Sunny Amidji in the show. So one can easily identify the comfort center is having when she is uh, talking online here, uh, talking to a uh, sports person of the uh, Indian cricket team. They all are sports person, so they are comfortable. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, how journalists look at this challenge? <clears throat> you can identify the person, Harsha Bhogle. Uh, now, uh, in his Twitter handle, he described the new normal as it is given here. And he said, uh, these times represent a great challenge for sports journalists. Players are doing uh, what journals do, and they have greater access and obvious camaraderie. Journals can either accept the situation, lay second fiddle, and leave off courts, or raise their game significantly. So there will be a gulf of difference in the approach of sports journalists while making special studies um, after the COVID. OK, next slide, please. OK, as revenues have fallen, media houses may be forced to rely on leaner teams in the immediate future. What does a post-pandemic newsroom look like? The news houses in India will presumably are forced to look at new newsroom structure and uh, they may move uh, from the traditional bustling newsroom to a, a distributed model uh, or in uh, other words uh, they are looking at uh, decentralization they may possibly rent out the newsroom and have reporters working from home okay next slide please Yes, remote broadcasting. Now, what is remote broadcasting? Remote production. Uh, you know, usually at a time when the IPL is going on, there are only a handful of professionals on site with heavy equipment and hardware to produce a match in high quality video. But remote production is the complete opposite. Uh, it is a, a technology that allows broadcasters and uh, content owners to remotely produce an event taking place thousands of miles away. And the broadcasting and the production team uh, would be situated within their home country or even within their households. For example, now when the IPL matches are happening in UAE, uh, the production and the broadcasting team could be in New Delhi or London, as you can see here. The sports industry has been forced to use this kind of technologies as an innovation to bring back audience engagement uh, which will be missing if you have uh, events behind closed doors. Now, there will be no spectators, but the event will take place. It is uh, broadcast live to audience uh, within uh, their home, so they can watch it on their TV, tablets, or mobile devices. So upcoming TV journalists uh, need to uh, do a lot of homework analysis, etc., to cope with the situation because um, there will be less outdoor work and more studio work in the, uh, in the remote broadcasting. Okay, next slide, please. So what will be your specialization? Uh, the list are there. Uh, so far, 
data analysis, statistical analysis, versatile writing skill, online communication skill, software knowledge, etc. Okay, let me explain. Uh, there has been a major shift in the sports uh, in the last decade as more uh, sports teams are switching uh, to use analytics. A large reason uh, for this shift is due to many articles being published about the increased benefit of using analytics to make strategic decisions in a game. As there is data collected about every instance uh, in every sports, sports data analysis it has increased. So sports publications are now hiring people with extensive background in statistics and mathematics in order to publish articles uh, detailing the analysis uh, these teams are conducting. And uh, new metrics have been created to study the quality of players' performance. Uh, blog sites began to sprout as full-time sports analytic sites uh, that uh, took available uh, data and uh, uh, constructed analytic heavy articles uh, pertaining to sports. Uh, versatile communication skill also required because news houses will look for such individuals who are comfortable uh, with uh, script writing for different domain. As for example, um, every newspaper houses are currently having its own web version. So one individual may need to write one single story to uh, for two different domains. Why I'm speaking uh, so because writing for a newspaper and the same story uh, for its web version is totally different. So I need to know the uh, structure and work quickly. Okay, as uh, it is evident that making contacts with sports stars will be more and more challenging, online communication skills through social networking will be vital in the coming future. Uh, knowledge of page making, photo editing, and other related softwares uh, is uh, required because sports reporters are doing multiple editorial jobs in the news house. Uh, namely, in a uh, newspaper, reporters, uh, besides performing on field duty, may need to perform the page making assignments as well. Now, as the future can be predicted exactly, I talked to some of the notes and noted sports journalists. Uh, here are their views. First, join the Chakraborty, please, the USP sir. Uh, please uh, move on to the next slide. Yes. John the Chakraborty, a noted uh, commentator and sports journalist. Now, uh, well, what he said, there are the main points. Next generation sports journalists will be technically sound. Existing ones are also getting used to the, uh, with the changing scenario. Things will be harder, but it won't last long. And as soon as the big events are on, things will uh, tend to normal. Well, he also said that audience are getting uh, used to uh, with uh, imaginative stories like a virtual commentary of the 1911 uh, official final. Now, this kind of stories will try for some time, but the audience will wait for the big events to come. <clears throat> it's the taste of news houses how they market this. But sports coverage will take prime importance during this big big events. It needs to be uh, carried uh, throughout. But new ideas will uh, also come because one cannot ignore the scope of new media. One single individual need to prepare to switch himself from one domain to another. Uh, newspapers will be uh, the most sufferers. Uh, they are looking for new things to introduce. As for example, he said, talking newspaper will be coming. You know, talking newspaper now and not a new technology. Uh, the term may be uh, hard new talking newspaper, but it's not a, a new technology, but not used so far in regular basis. Uh, but now news houses are looking for adopting this technology mainly for their OA version. It will be a surprise package. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Uh, it will be Orun Shen Gupta, uh, a veteran journalist, he is currently editor of OA Bangla and uh, long term uh, time he was associated with Achkal and uh, Shangbad Pratidin. Okay, what he said was a uh, post COVID sports journalism will be weaker, uh, there will be less breaking stories. Event management groups will act as liaison between players and reporters. He said sports journalism is not the same as it was even 10 years earlier. The taste of a news house is the breaking or exclusive stories it provides. In sports, uh, it depends uh, heavily upon the personal relationship between a reporter and a sports person. 
the professionalism hit uh, hard in this relationship. The gap was lurking even in the pre-COVID era. And COVID just acted like a catalyst to make it wider. So post-COVID coverage will be much harder. Players will interact with the journalists through some event management group. So exclusive stories will be less. Sports journalists uh, hence will need to imaginative for the framing of a good story. Uh, sports journalists are of two kinds. You know, first, he said, are of two kinds. First, those who are having good contacts. And second, uh, those who are having good imagination, who can provide a different perspective to uh, any information, who can uh, frame a good story with little information. Post-COVID era will uh, give space to mainly uh, the second category of sports journalists. But a new job opportunity will pop up for the first category as well. Those who can make good contacts will do good in event management groups. But overall, sports journalism seems to be a bit weaker, at least for the time. Um, OK, next uh, slide. Uh, it will be Jayadeep Basu. Next, uh, yes, this is Jayadeep Basu, a former associate editor, The Telegraph, New Delhi. He uh, uh, gave his comment from New Delhi. OK, uh, whatever sporting actions we see now is the pandemic is due to the interest of TV broadcasters. He also mentioned the IPL also. Uh, the situation all was not favorable for the IPL, but uh, uh, it happened due to uh, the broadcasters. They wanted, they want this. Okay, the change we see is temporary. The basic of sports journalism remains the same and people still love sports and they will love uh, uh, after the COVID as well. Now, he wanted to mention, the, mention that the basic that he uh, emphasized on, uh, it will not change. There will be some harder time but it will not take long to become normal when the scare of pandemic uh, will go. There is uh, much fear that the traditional media will struggle. But this is journalism and this is uh, not stagnant. It will find some way to get out of the situation. Uh, evolution and adaptation are two big things for journalists live with. He also mentioned that during this pandemic, uh, there are enough space for producing several sports related stories, especially uncommon stories to feed the sports hungry readers. But unfortunately, this didn't happen. Rather, readers were fed with framed stories. He also believes when the situation will be normal, there will not be much new normal. Technology will stay there, but it was obvious it would come even without the pandemics. Well, we shall also see a video of Gautam Bhattacharya Golf News speaking uh, on the same. Okay. Uh, please, someone, please. I mean, Anonna or Jyoti, please play the video. Okay, sir. Yeah. I'm doing it, wait. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hello, students. Uh, wishing you is, is this audible? Yes, yes, absolutely. A very warm welcome yes, from sitting here in Dubai. Uh, my name is Gautam Bhattacharya. I'm the senior associate editor with Gulf News. So, uh, as you are aware that you know, like uh, the IPL uh, 2020 have uh, kicked off here. Uh, and the two matches have been played. Today is the day of the third match when I'm talking. So definitely over the last few months, you must have seen that uh, how the perception of coverage of, uh, you know, live sports in this new normal has changed ever since uh, the European club football resumed uh, sometime in June. So uh, now, you know, from June to uh, September in these four or five months, what we have seen that you know sport is gradually emerging as a kind of a you know it is the it is the birth of the tv sport which we can say we always knew we had no illusion about uh, you know the the power the tv wills because that brings in uh, the maximum amount of revenue for uh, whether it is football say the premier league i mean one of the reasons why uh, they pushed for a resumption and to to complete the season was because of uh, they would have missed out on the TV revenue and would have incurred a huge loss there. 
Now, the same logic applies for the Indian Premier League also. I mean, uh, there have been, uh, uh, you know, arguments back and forth that did we really have to do the IPL at times where, you know, uh, the country is passing through a raging pandemic. But it is once again the market forces, once again uh, the huge amount of uh, revenue that, you know, star sports are guaranteed to give IPL every year as per their contract which has kind of uh, forced the Board of Control for Cricket in India to shift the event to the UAE. Now, how this all these are going to change the dynamics of uh, sports journalism? Yes, uh, the thing is, you know, as we know that uh, we, we may be regretting, I mean, like people who are coming into the profession later, like uh, you all in the next generation, you will be regretting that, will it mean uh, end to the pleasure of, you know, uh, working hard to get an interview with a top uh, cricketer or a footballer and uh, uh, you know and also sitting in the ground I mean sitting in the ground always makes a lot of difference because when you're watching uh, on the television I mean be it in uh, football or cricket you are at, at one point of time the camera is offering you a certain cross section of the ground they are not offering you uh, uh, the, the full ground. I mean, this is so uh, you know so crucial in in football, where you can you know like gauge about in what formation a particular team is playing, who is doing something without the ball. So in in cricket, it may not be that much, but definitely you're going to miss out on that. And uh, you know we we will have to do with this for some time to come i mean there is honestly i mean we it will be naive to think that you know this uh, uh, you know this absence of live coverage or remote control coverage as we are doing now that is going to end uh, by with the year no we have to be ready to you know to watch the television go for and and we have to devise you know certain new kind of coverages how we can do that like we have seen, like working in Gulf News, we have seen that uh, we used to have this perception that, you know, if we do a live coverage or if we do a live commentary on our website or on the paper, if we do a, you know, a comment, an original comment by myself, whether people will read it or whether we will need big names to sell that. But we have seen from our experience that uh, across all disciplines, we have done comments where we have taken a stance you know, uh, and and that is that has done very well in terms of getting us traffic, rather than you know getting uh, syndicated columns of players and others. So one way of uh, looking at it is you know produce more original stuff, since people are watching all these matches on the television, uh, anyways. So what you do is you stick your neck out, make comments, and also what is happening is. Uh, this, uh, you know, the, the the communication department of these franchises or clubs, they, a lot of them have really raised their game. Like in this IPL, I have seen uh, a much more cooperative uh, attitude from the franchises. I mean, not all of them uh, in terms of, you know, uh, feeding us with interviews, uh, audio files, video files. Uh, because videos are an, an integral part, you know, for value addition in the uh, on on your online websites. So they are doing that. So make use of them, uh, you know, to give rather than focusing on the match, focus on the uh, on the characters who have done well, uh, and that is how you you carry on with your coverage. I mean, I mean, always think about day after what we can give to our readers. Now what we are doing now if it's going to set a template for the future i am not really sure because i would always want the live coverage to come back there is nothing like uh, going to the ground be it the football ground cricket ground hockey ground tennis uh, and uh, you know do your do your duties i mean a uh, 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 us open just finished with an empty stadium you, you don't really feel good, I mean, because each of these Grand Slams, tennis Grand Slams bring their crowd, bring a separate flavor in each of these venues, like be it in England, Australia, uh, you know, US or uh, French in Paris, whichever. So we have to hope for the best. We, we somehow uh, will let us look at this as a temporary measure because 
people like us, we had all come into this profession for the love of it. We could have gone gone on and uh, do other things in life. We didn't do that. Same with you people. So uh, all we can hope for is the tide will uh, turn and it is around the corner where we can get back uh, to carrying our notepads uh, into the ground and uh, enjoy the coverage as we have always done. Thank you. Okay, let's back to the slide. It was just just thank you message. Okay. So with that, I end my presentations here with the hope that in the coming days, we shall see a bright future of sports journalism. Uh, uh, challenges will be harder, that's for sure. Uh, lots of technological and digital inclination and transformation will be observed. Uh, news houses will uh, uh, look for recruiting less number of staffs, but there will be a new openings in the web division and the traditional divisions as well. Uh, only the domain of work may change. There will be a new wing, uh, which is uh, sports or event management. Uh, uh, that may get prominence or open up uh, uh, job opportunities for sports journalists. So there will not be much problem for sports journalists as uh, they are adapted to it to these. Another thing I want to mention that is for the students of journalism and mass communication, especially who opt for sports journalism as a career. Um, uh, in your school of journalism, that means your college or university, you may be trained well with great techniques, uh, great technology, or you may be loaded with lots of uh, self-confidence uh, so that you can be uh, fully prepared for the professional world. But one thing cannot be trained in any school of journalism in the world. I mean, any school of journalism in the world, that is the teamwork. See, you may be the best in the world, but if you don't have a good team, all your beautiful efforts will be ruined. You will be like Messi in Argentina team. So be a good team man, make your own team and be champion. Thanks and good luck. Okay. Thank I'm you. ready to accept any questions if there are. Yes, okay, yes, that is what, no, I, I could not find any questions. So okay, okay, okay. there are very uh, many faculty members of the department and even from our college there are uh, faculty members across streams, if they can, uh, they wish to question you, or any regard yeah, yeah. they are to do so. So please unmute yourself if you have any question for SP sir. Yeah. So before you take on uh, with the questions, if there are any, I'd just like to mention that it was very insightful. It was very insightful, it was very detailed and uh, very informative. Thank you, Shotoda. And also I would like to make a mention that uh, faculty members from very many colleges have joined. Faculty members from uh, our college across discipline have joined. And even uh, you'll be happy to know that even our classmates have joined. And to make it very special for you, maybe you did not note it. Yes, there was somebody from Delhi, we all know who he is. So he was also there with us and many other uh, classmates also. So thank you for all your participation. And we look forward for such participation. It, it encourages us. And uh, uh, please, if you have any questions for SP, sir, uh, please unmute yourself. He's waiting for your questions. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. My name is Rashita Palit. I'm from Women's College, Calcutta. Okay. So my question is, because of this COVID situation, we are unable to resume the classes. And I don't think that we are getting proper uh, facilities to understand what this sports journalism is all about. So how would you yes. suggest that freshers enhance their skills or prepare themselves to bag a decent job in the upcoming market? Okay, the problem is for everyone. Uh, now, if I asked you to go to the field and uh, see a match, uh, it will be too much. No, 
just wait for this situation and better i i i ask you to watch a tv uh, television because the matches are there and just try to study more you know uh, because uh, at the current situation you cannot do much so uh, you know uh, as i said that uh, technologically make yourself strong and please learn to uh, you know uh, uh, in not learn to uh, write write you know i mean you need to write uh, a single copy for a different domain like if you uh, want to write uh, uh, a single copy for a newspaper please write it and if you want to like that same copy for your web portal that will be different just try to understand the differences like and um, uh, this is the key i think and technologically you are more sound i think you are more sound than two years because every generation grows up with a new technological understanding so i think for now on uh, from now for the timing for this time at least you just wait and see but try to get in touch with uh, your sporting uh, knowledge is because i already mentioned that you need to do more and more homeworks right so uh, i mean if you just after uh, covid uh, if you are asked to um, interview someone so what will you do the just uh, uh, a traditional question won't do you need to do some home homework and do something you know non linear questions actually uh, in the current scenario what we uh, see a linear uh, type of writing and non linear type of writing you know we prefer in the current generation we prefer non linear type of writing or non linear type of understanding so please try to find a different perspective of uh, uh, anything in you know any uh, information like uh, just uh, yesterday two uh, news that came up one is uh, uh, the sad demise of uh, dean jones of australia and another news is that you know there's something happened between uh, you know sunil gavaskar and uh, anushka sharma you know so mm, just try to write you know try to practice to cover and if you if i ask you to cover the death of the jin jones it's nonsense you know he was a great personality but how you will write that you know uh, so this sort of things you need to practice just do practice at home that's what i can say okay okay sir thank you So may I, I ask a question? Yes, may yes. 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 So it is a very, very informative session, sir. Thank you so much, first of all. And oh. uh, the question is about uh, photographers who want to get into sports photography. Uh, they often face a challenge that you know, for young, uh, you know, people who write copy about sports, maybe they have an opportunity to practice from uh, yes. home, and you know, they can uh, watch a match and maybe write, uh, maybe write in a blog or submit. on websites and portals how do as uh, a person who wants to or aspires to become a sports photographer train himself or what is the approach like yes yeah, somot to actually i had to mention uh, this portion sports but photographers portion because they need to go to the field in person because you cannot get a photograph uh, from online because someone need to snap it so someone need to go to the field now one thing uh, that's why i didn't mention it in the in this uh, in the slides because in the current in the past few uh, years i can say uh, past 5 uh, to 10 years there is a trend in news houses uh, before that there were uh, uh, a fixed uh, you know a place for the sports journalist uh, for the photographers i mean but during the past 5 to 10 years thing happens is that uh, they recruit uh, photographers and some of them uh, they are not uh, they may not be specialized in sports just they need to perform other works as well other duties uh, they may go to uh, you know the rajbhavan or whatever uh, they are uh, uh, given assignment to and someone will uh, deport deport uh, for the sports department so there is no specialized sports photographer for specialized sport photographer sports photographers in uh, kolkata i am talking specially in kolkata the situation is that the uh, specialized uh, sports photographer are very few so um, 
it was said if it is possible please collect if it is not possible don't worry uh, so um, news houses uh, depends upon uh, agency photograph agency photographs in uh, in spite of the events happening in uh, your city maybe in kolkata the match is happening but no photographer is sent so the problem with this is that if i ask someone to learn photography you know sports photography so uh, you know it's a more challenging i think than any uh, other uh, uh, specialization because uh, a sports journalist uh, can uh, make a call and uh, through uh, social networking he or she can uh, contact uh, a sports person and have its interview but for sports uh, photographer he needs a snap directly uh, so he or she need to go to the field so it's a bigger challenge i think but problem is there is no sp uh, specialized sports uh, sports photographer currently any house is recruiting if they start recruiting i think then we need to think a uh, uh, different thing or we need to think it in a different perspective you understand what i mean that i am actually talking about the practical situation right ye samarth to do you have it right sir right sir i understood <laughs> okay 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 any other questions Uh, I don't think so. There is anybody else who needs to ask a question. Is there anybody? Okay. Uh, thank you all for joining, and um, I especially extend my gratitude and thanks to my department, uh, Dr. Uma Shankar Pandey, the others, and uh, Umada. This is for you to conclude to bring it an end for today's session. Oh, thank you so much uh, for a brilliant session, uh, and this was uh, only expected from uh, a colleague like uh, uh, Sati sir. And for every slide, you know, and the, the uh, he wears many hats, and uh, he's the in-house design specialist of the college as well. And that was visible on every slide that we could see, and very very uh, uh, comprehensive, so very well researched. and you know it's a lesson for everyone to you know uh, to research in so many dimensions he even spoke to uh, three or four uh, top journalists you know for this so this is a very very uh, good addition for uh, our web series and uh, this will be on youtube very soon i'm very thankful to all my colleagues as well uh, usha shiray shen gupto the uh, wonderful moderator for this session to uh, jyoti shao you know who's been uh, handling the background technical work to Atoshi Bhattacharya and Ananya Sen who's been handling all this to uh, Konka Majumdar uh, uh, to Shabani Mukhopadhyay as well so thank you very much thanks to all my colleagues who joined from other colleges thanks to colleagues from other departments of the college thanks to the students I'm really happy uh, in the manner in which this has worked out and uh, for SP sir too this was a first web lecture and uh, such a brilliant lecture it was so looking forward to many more such lectures uh the last word should go to sp sir again if he wants to say anything no it's a, a thumbs up to the departments <laughs> just a big thumbs up i think dr sudarshan vishwas of vishwa bharati he is uh, he wanted to say something i think he just unmuted uh, and uh, whether he is uh, currently yeah i i yes, I, I, there. yeah yes sir if you can unmute yes, yourself sir. <clears throat> thank you yes sir uh, very nicely yes, presented satrupat uh, pal uh, so thank many, you sir uh, after long gap i am saying to you <laughs> and, and and one thing it is the right time because uh, in this pandemic situation everybody are saying the physical fitness is required for all uh, yeah. against the uh, against the disease disease so so why not you are covering the Uh, physical fitness and general rules regulation and basic technique is um, compulsory in our education system uh, yes. it is compulsory it, it, it is it should be in our curriculum so if yeah. it so if it so then everybody develop the general fitness if it is the we cover the broad based principle in education system then automatically we can find out the talented player and give them support for higher level of performance which is the main part it is it is a it is a uh, 
means performance oriented because sports is a performance oriented so yes, government government also required to give the best performance 2028 in olympic yes sir. so why yes, sir. why we uh, we are not in compulsory physical education and sports not sports in yes, new policy so you you should cover up in very nicely to the society so they can give opportunity to compulsory in our education system this is the right time thank you thank yes, you all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you, for your views. It was very thoughtful. Thank you, sir. So we come to an end of the session. Uh, nice uh, having you here, and uh, we'll be having a uh, few more lectures in the series, and we expect your uh, presence again in the uh, future sessions too. Thank you all for joining. Just a reminder for everybody: the next uh, web lecture is on October fourth. by uh, ushoshira shengupto it will be on